what's up everybody welcome back to the crystal palace today we are going 150 feet below grand central yep that's right we're checking out the new grand central madison station the first long island railroad station here on the east side of manhattan let's go this is a pretty historic event we're in grand central terminal but we're headed to the long island railroad in the dining concourse we're headed down to the brand new Grand Central Madison Station. We are about to head 150 feet down below Grand Central Terminal. Is this like Gringotts? This is going to be interesting. Ooh, she's new. Here we go. It smells new. Enter for Long Island Railroad. It's quiet down here to ticketing and customer services, LIRR tracks 201, 202, 301, and 302. This is a pretty big deal because this is the first time that the Long Island Railroad is coming into and out of Grand Central Terminal. Before this, it just went into Penn Station, which is below Madison Square Garden. So now, Long Island Railroad has service to the east side of Manhattan. Very exciting. So it's not even fully open yet. There's only a few lines that are currently running, mostly from here to Jamaica. And then once you get to Jamaica, you could transfer to the other parts of Long Island. There's going to be stores and little cafes, not even open yet. That's how new it is. Construction actually started in 2008 and it just opened in January, 2023. They have a lot of art going on here. It's very new, it's nice and quiet. <laughs> so you could see right here, they're gonna put in some stores, but I don't even think we're, I think we still have to keep going down. So let's check it out. So apparently it's a pretty long walk from Grand Central to this Long Island Railroad trains tracks. So we're gonna see how far it is. Grand Central also has subways, the four, five, and six line. So right here we have an elevator to 44th Street. So you can go up, but if you wanna get those subways, you're gonna have to go back to Grand Central where we started out. Wow, this is like weird. I feel like I'm in an airport. <laughs> and I don't think we still have gone down, down yet. I will say I've seen a lot of security and police so that's good. We like that here in New York. They have some restrooms. We're still, uh, we're still walking. All right, so ticket booths, future restaurants, and here are the big escalators. All right, here are those big escalators down to the tracks. Let's see, this is gonna be crazy. They say it takes about 100 seconds to get all the way down there. This is scary. This is literally Gringotts Bank. Look at that. Sheesh. That's pretty steep, too. Wow. Look at this. This is crazy. Where are we going? <laughs> it's so It's so steep. <laughs> All right. We are 150 feet below Grand Central, so that took about a minute and a half to get down. Now, okay, so this is just the tracks. All right, so here is track 201 and 202. So this is about two floors, it looks like, too. Wait, this is coming down. What the, what is this? No, oh, those look nice. Those are definitely way nicer than Grand Central Terminals. Obviously, it's new, so I would hope it's nice. If you're taking the Long Island Railroad into Grand Central Madison, this is where you are going to enter. So you head up the big escalators to get to the Metro North, the subway, 45th Street, and of course, Grand Central Terminal. Grand Central Terminal is home to the subways and Metro North. Here are the trains to Long Island departing. See, they're all going to Jamaica right now. I think they're going to expand. But then you can transfer to wherever you want to go from that Jamaica station. Here's like the main hub, 45th Street. This way is tracks 301 to 302. Down, let's see, what's down here? I will say, it's really nice. It's very like futuristic. All right, let's just head down and see what the tracks look like. 
I'll definitely show you guys what the Grand Central tracks look like as well. So here they are. Oh, they're very weird. <laughs> I feel like I'm in the future. You will also never see it this empty ever again. So, <laughs> all right, let's head back up to the concourse. Take the escalator. Cause we didn't take enough escalators today yet. A lot of people are just walking around right now saying like, oh, it's so clean, it's so beautiful. Hopefully it stays like this. But this is really cool for New York. All right, let's see what's this way. I think this might be just more tracks. But we'll see if they're going to put any food things in here. Okay, yeah, so just tracks this way. So you have to walk a pretty good amount to get to any of the food and little cafes. Oh, let's see what's, what's this. Oh, so they don't even have a ticket vending machine here yet. You can definitely buy it on the phone. Like they have an app. Here you go. This train time app. But they guess they're going to put a ticket booth here if you want to get paper tickets. So yeah, this is all tracks. This is pretty cool. This is very nice, I will say. I also like these tracks because you don't feel like you're in a dungeon. You'll see when we head to Grand Central, some of the tracks make you feel like you're in an underground dungeon and it's pretty scary. <laughs> we got some more art here. Pretty cool. All right, here's a good map. Street levels, Grand Central, the, the subway, four, five, six, seven, and the shuttle. I didn't see the shuttle. We'll look for that because the shuttle is to Times Square and then you could get on more subways from there. Okay, so then we go Grand Central Terminal Main Concourse, Metro North, and the subways, right? Okay. Then you go down to the Dining Concourse, which is where we started. Then you go down to the Madison Concourse. You go down. That's this big escalator. And then here we're on these tracks. They have upper level tracks and lower level tracks. Oh, a train, a train. Oh, people are coming in. The Long Islanders are using the Grand Central Madison. This was a very big project and they completed it. Well, that's awesome. So here's that train, your typical Long Island Railroad train here at the new Grand Central Madison. I think this might be another set of escalators because this was green. Oh yeah, this is, this is 46th Street. Okay, so there's two sets of escalators. 45th and 46th. You can also take the train to Jamaica and they have a shuttle to JFK, John F. Kennedy Airport, which is the biggest international airport. I'm sure you've heard of JFK, but also good to know if you're coming to Manhattan, if you're visiting the city or anything like that. Oh, here are elevators. So if you don't want to take those escalators, they have elevators up. Oh, I don't know if I want to take that elevator. Sorry, <laughs> rather take an escalator. Oh, they're putting ticket booths in. All right, now we kept walking. This is 47th Street. It's purple, this one. And then, of course, we got another set of escalators going up. I wonder if this is the end. Oh my, look at that. It's so wild. I wonder if this is the end now. Do we go to 48th? I don't think so. I think this is a dead end. Oh, wait, is this the lyrics to New York by... Jay-Z, these streets will make you feel brand new. Oh, what? Wait, I love that. Brand new big lights will inspire you. That's so cool. I love that song. All right, you guys don't want to hear my singing, but wow, should I go on The Voice? <laughs> That's sick. There's nothing you can do. Now you're in New York. All right, and there is a 48th Street exit. It's this one's teal. So we got 46, 47, 48. We have a lot of these escalators, which is good. You know, it just decreases the congestion. If you want to head out 48th Street, you can. All right, now this 48 is the end. There's nothing more down here. And this is track 201. So I guess where you come in, you know, you could exit out 48th Street, 47th Street, so on and so forth. Another thing to know is I do have cell reception, cell service down here. So even though we're 150 feet below New York City, frightening, I still have service. <laughs> Everything is also pretty well labeled. So it's kind of hard to get lost. You just have to find out what track your train is on. So see that, so see that 1059 is on track 303. And you just find where 303 is. 
There's also so, so, so many security cameras, which is awesome. It kind of keeps the theme of Grand Central, like it's similar in like these like arches aspect, but it's a lot newer and nicer, of course. Okay, so for subways or Metro North, take an escalator or elevator to Madison Concourse. Follow signs, connections are about a 10 minute walk. All right, so if you wanna get to a subway from here, that's what you have to do. So we're gonna do that right now. All right, we're headed up 45th Street. I think going up is worse. Look at that, it's so steep. We're literally going up to heaven right now. <laughs> All right, so to the right, that is the other like escalators, like 46th Street, 47th Street, 48th Street. And so yeah, this is like the main concourse where you're gonna be able to get food. There's some ticket booths again. So this is where we started out. Wow, look at this, this is awesome. This is a terminal little fire engine. Wow. Oh, all right, so to the right here, subway 4567 and the shuttle. 42nd Street, Vanderbilt Passage, Observation. Let's go this way. More escalators. All right, so here is the entry, four, five, and six, and shuttle subway. So it's definitely not close to the subway, but it's not that bad, especially since it's so much closer than Penn Station, what the Long Island Railroad would typically come in. Hold the phone. I think I know where we are, but I'm confused how we got here. This is the summit. This is one, are we in one Vanderbilt right now? The summit is at the top of one Vanderbilt and it's like an expensive experience. <laughs> But if you're like a tourist and you want to do it, get good views of the city, you can do it. But yeah, look, summer, Summit 1 Vanderbilt entrance this way, okay. 150 feet this way. Hey, if you're coming from Long Island and want to do the summit, this is it. Oh yeah, this is it. Wow. That's why it said observation deck. Okay. Well, I was going to do a video here. So let me know if you guys would want to see that, of the experience of the summit. And there's Chick-fil-A. So by the way, yeah, that's just an entrance to Grand Central right in there, the regular Grand Central. But come on, I'm hungry, let's get Chick-fil-A. This is a pretty good view of Grand Central, by the way. So this is Grand Central, it's so pretty, so historic. And then 150 feet under there, that's where we were. And this is that one Vanderbilt, it's literally massive. Time for chicken. What do you guys get from Chick-fil-A? Let me know in the comments. Yes, I get the kids meal. Don't judge me. I like it, okay? It's perfect size for me. Yum. And of course, a chicken sandwich. I'm so full, but that was so good. All right, Chick-fil-A, it's been real. I need to walk around. Let's go head back to Grand Central and show you guys the real Grand Central. All right, so here it is. We're not gonna do like a whole in-depth Grand Central review, but just show you some of the cool stuff that we got going on here. So you can compare it to Grand Central Madison. This is like the main hub. This clock is worth millions. It's so exact and precise, like to the 10,000th second. And you see that acorn on top there? That is the family crest of the Vanderbilts. And also a fun fact in here, there's a little stair secret staircase for the workers that takes you down to the dining concourse. So along the walls are the tracks. There's also tracks downstairs. So just how so you can see, it's like a little different from Grand Central Madison. I'll show you guys track 34 though, because that track is a little special. It has no pillars on the platform. That means that this track, a lot of movies film on because there's no like ugly pillars. So if you've ever seen a movie that's filmed in Grand Central Terminal, it's probably filmed on this track 34. Look, it does look pretty, I will say. Oh, and just for comparison, that track over there, see those pillars? This doesn't have those pillars. It makes it movie ready. And you can see the difference too, what I was saying, how you kind of feel like you're in a dungeon on these tracks compared to the nice new Grand Central Madison station. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Right before you head down to the dining concourse, they have a little store with some Grand Central Madison merch in it. If you're a big fan of Grand Central Madison, you can get some merch to commemorate your journey. Wow, look at this. This is it. Grand Central Terminal, and that's the Grand Central Madison below. That is truly scary. <laughs> it's insane how they built it, right? 
There's the elevator escalator we went down. Wow, this is a great overview. That's like what you see like back in the olden days, them working, right? Look at this. That is something. These pictures are amazing. Wow, look at this. It looks fake, doesn't it? Like that actually happened. Wow, those, these people that worked on this should be proud of themselves for sure. All right, we'll quickly head down to the dining concourse. This is where we went down to head to Grand Central Madison. So those are actually the escalators right there. And I've always saw construction walls and I never knew what they were doing. See that information center right here? That's where that secret staircase, you exit right there. See the door? So it doesn't smell the best in here either. Just let's be real. Don't want to romanticize it. But I have to point out Magnolia Bakery, their banana pudding and their magic cookie bars, so, so good. They have, a, they have a regular bakery in the city, but they have a little station here at Grand Central. All right, everyone, that does it from the undergrounds in Grand Central. This was crazy. What a terminal, what a job that they did. It is so nice to Grand Central Madison. It's crazy how they actually built that. But you know, you feel like these things like have been around forever. It's like, how do you, how did they build this back then? But like this has been work. They've been working on this since 2008 and it opened now. It's a crazy part of history that we're in. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the Crystal Palace right down below for more fun adventures. I will see you guys in the next one.